where we were sitting. It yeah. Down here. So you have your own sawmill. And and Roger, did this come from your carpenter days no. too, or this was? No, Well, we had full-time jobs. Mm -hmm. We knew that eventually we were going to live this lifestyle full-time. Okay. But there were certain cool. toys that we needed before we left into this world. This was the toy that Roger needed. Okay. And the toy that I needed is right behind you. The greenhouse. Yes. Very cool. Did you want to say anything about the greenhouse? We could we could check um, it out. I start all my own seeds, all my own... Uh, Save my own seeds, start my, start my own seeds. Not only do are these for us, but we also sell our plants at a local garden center. Okay. So selling those plants pays for the propane that heats the greenhouse. So you get right back to the, everything has to pay for itself here on the farm. If it mm -hmm. doesn't pay for itself or it's costing us money or we're not having fun or it doesn't work, um, then we're not going to do it. Yeah. Um, this is a great, great thing for me because I basically get all of our plants for free. Yeah. Um, and it pays for all of our propane that we use here. I love my greenhouse. And I really like that you pointed out the fun. You pointed that out before, before I started yeah. uh, taping. Yeah. That fun is a very important part to this. If and it's not fun, it's a job. And, and this isn't a job. This is a passion. This is a way of life. This is what we do. Um, all of our friends think that we're nuts, but, <laughs> but it's it's what we do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, well said. I, I definitely wanted to get that on on camera because that's an important, often overlooked thing. Ooh, let's see what we have here. These are fun. <laughs> they are too fun. <laughs> so here are the pigs. Are they a mixed a mixed breed yes. or okay? Um, they've got. I always forget the mix. The, but the ones that I, I never forget are the two that look like chipmunks. This one. Yeah, yeah. Um, those are Mongolistas. Okay. It's a, um, it's a heritage breed. I believe this is saying they taste... Mong Mongolistas? Mm -hmm. Cool. They taste the Spanish. Yeah. I'm trying to learn Spanish, so I'm going to now... I'm going to talk about them every so often and see if this... They taste they're familiar. unbelievable. Huh. One of those is ours. <laughs> oh, and then one will be for customers. Well, okay. Actually, well, this is somebody, somebody the bread. Oh. Raccoon, I figured out how to do it. Um, the pigs, we keep, actually, only half of one of them is ours. We keep a half a pig for ourselves. All the others are sold already. Oh, okay. They're, um, you're just we raising. Call, we sell pork futures. We take okay. orders from people in the spring. Um, you can only buy a half a pig or a whole pig. Okay. Um, we raise the pig for you. We take it to the slaughterhouse. We get it butchered. We bring it back here. You can drive down the driveway, pick it up, and take it home and put it in your freezer. They'll be, um, they'll be going to the market in October beginning of November, end of October, beginning of November, and at that point, they'll be around 250 to 300 pounds each. Wow. I thought they were just going to be smaller variety of pig, oh, no. but they're... These are babies. They're, yeah, they're young. These are, babies. <laughs> These are only about two and a half, maybe three months old right now. Yeah. But they put on... What do they put on? Like five pounds a day? On the... <laughs> they doubled in size since we got them, and they've only they been little here. little tiny things. I can yeah. pick them up. Yeah. Maybe you just got to lift some more weights, Roger. You could still lift them up, maybe. No, you know, you know, they scream. Oh, okay. Uh, they scream when you touch them, and then the minute you take your hand off of them, they stop screaming, and they kind of look at you. I okay. I you Yeah, sure. Yeah. They're very powerful, though. Okay. This is the easiest animal to raise on the farm. We raise them on concrete. Um, it keeps them real clean, and we can, um, I just have to come in and can disinfect it, it in between each set of pigs that we raise, which is okay. really, really important. Okay. Uh, we've found drinking. for us this to be the right amount. We have done 13 pigs at a time. Right. And that was over. Was way too much work. Okay. So what are we at? Five, five is what you, yeah. Five is ideal. Five is, five is ideal. Especially for a two-feeder that works yeah. out perfect. They feed themselves yeah. automatically. And are they all males? Yeah, are they? The yeah. largest one is a female, the dark one. Mostly black one is female. The rest are all males. Okay. I can't taste the difference. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't. I was curious as far as how they get along and things like that. If they. It's fine. It's a real social. They yeah. kind of move in it. They, they kind of move in this little pack. Yeah. Watch this little piece of 